Hey everybody, Andre here with another general knowledge video. Now, inflation is all around us. I mean, you can't help but hear about it when you turn on the news, read about it in the newspaper, and I bet when you're out with friends or family, the topic has definitely come up. So I'm not surprised that I got this question. Since the inflation rate has fallen, I mean, it used to be over 8%, why aren't prices falling too, right? Inflation is down, but it doesn't seem like prices are. So let's address that question. Now, I'm not talking about the price of a single specific good. I'm talking about prices in general, such as, you know, the price of a certain basket of goods that the Consumer Price Index, also known as the CPI, measures. Now, when you're listening to the experts talk, you need to have some basic terminology under your belt so you can understand what they're saying. And I'm gonna illustrate this with a ball and with a hill that represents general price levels. Now, inflation refers to that ball being pushed up the hill. And as you can see, that means prices are going up. The rate of inflation refers to how quickly that ball is being pushed up the hill. Now listen to this term carefully. It trips up a lot of people. Disinflation also refers to that ball being pushed up the hill only at a slower rate than before. So the word inflation, the phrase, the rate of inflation, and even the word disinflation all refer to prices going up to some degree. Now, a great little memory aid is inflation, the phrase rate of inflation, and disinflation all have the word inflation in them. Now, deflation is something entirely different. Deflation refers to that ball giving up ground and rolling backwards. In other words, prices going down. Now, deflation is not good for an economy. I mean, imagine if you were in the market for a brand new car, but you believed in six months that car would be cheaper. Would you buy it today? Probably not. So deflation results in delayed purchases, a slowing of the economy, and as a result, job loss. Again, not good for the economy. So when you're listening to experts speak, words matter, listen carefully. And unless they're using the word deflation, they're not referring to prices going down. Perhaps they're referring to prices stabilizing or not going up as fast, but they're not referring to prices going down. 